Ooh. The Sony a7 III is one of the best online content creation cameras of 2018, and maybe of all time. It's true, it's true. You're just gonna have to get over it. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about my experiences after a month of ownership. Welcome to Follow Up Friday. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So to make a claim like best content creation camera of all time is a pretty bold statement. And in all fairness, I'm talking from a relatively small background in cameras. I've used the Panasonic Lumix G7, G85, G9, GH5, twice. Sony cameras A6300, A6500, and very recently I picked up my very first Canon camera, the M50. Now for the price, features, and quality, you cannot beat the a7 III. If this is your very first video about the a7 III, let's cover some of the basic video specs. I don't really take photos except for thumbnails, so these are the specs that an online content creator would care about. The Sony a7 III is a full-framed mirrorless camera with a 24.2 megapixel CMOS BSI sensor. It can record in 4K up to 30 frames per second, and it can record in 1080p and up to 120 frames per second without a crop that's awesome. The autofocus system is a fast hybrid AF with 693 phase detection and 425 contrast detection autofocus points. Those are not as important when it comes to video. Video, it's, it's fine. It has about a billion levels of ISO and it's really good through a lot of them. The actual number is 100 to 51,200. Now, ISO doesn't sound like a sexy topic, but something that I'm figuring out moving into some Canon mirrorless cameras is that nothing really beats the Sony's for just, hey, I know I can put this in 4,000 ISO and not care about what the image quality is gonna look like. I've been having some problems with Canon cameras where if I go over 1,000 ISO, everything kind of gets so I cannot overstate how good the ISO levels on the a7 III are. And on the back you'll find an LCD touchscreen display. And thanks to the new Z-Type batteries, you should be able to record for 125 minutes. Basically what this means is I can shoot an entire YouTube video, narrative, b-roll, everything, and take the thumbnail with one battery. I could never have done that with my a6300 at all. But now that we've got the specs out of the way, what is it like to actually use this to create YouTube content for over a month? Everybody talks about the positive, let's start off with the negatives. When I made my one week later video, I complained about the rear screen being assembled at the wrong angle for using polarized sunglasses. What this means is if you are wearing polarized sunglasses, you cannot see the back screen through them at all, period. It just doesn't, like the way that it's lined up does not work. Well, the good news is the second you put a screen protector on the back, and you should absolutely put a screen protector on this very expensive camera, this problem goes away immediately and the screen protectors aren't even that expensive. Get a screen protector. So hooray, it's not a problem anymore. But after using this to create videos and do some live streaming, I have one really serious complaint and it really has to do with the design of the port doors on the side. If you're like everybody else and you use an external monitor because Sony refuses to give us an articulating screen and you use a microphone at the same time, you get this huge jumbled mess where it's hard to use both the microphone jack and the HDMI out because of these stupid little doors. And as somebody that cycles through equipment a lot, like I sell a lot of my stuff on eBay to buy new stuff, I tend to baby my equipment, but I'm really struggling not tearing these stupid doors off. These are by far the worst part of the a7 III for me. I wish they had a much nicer design like the little flip door on the a6500. Super simple, never gets in the way, keeps everything nice and organized. This is terrible and sometimes I just can't get it plugged in. My only other real gripe is both a complaint and something that's good. It's not a, it's not full negative. The new Z-Type batteries are wonderful and like I said, I can film an entire video with just one battery. I haven't even bothered to buy a second battery because it lasts forever. My first step when I buy any camera is I always buy some backup batteries. I have not, I have never come close to emptying this thing out. However, with no included battery charger, once this thing drains out, it takes a very, very long time to charge it with micro USB or even using the USB-C connection. It is the biggest frustration. You can buy one of these cheap external chargers from Amazon, and again, I really recommend doing that. But again, I just, I wish they included a battery charger. The Canon M50, comes with a battery charger and it's way less expensive than this. And that's really it. It is a fantastic camera. Now I've considered moving away from the Sony line on several occasions. I've purchased two GH5s trying to do just that. But I honestly cannot imagine using anything else unless I upgrade to like a cinema camera. So let's talk about the good things 
because there's an awful lot of them. As a solo content creator, I do a variety of things outside of just making YouTube videos. I run a weekly live stream here, an Instagram account there, Twitch streams three times a week there, and this crushes all of it. I love this as a live streaming platform because you only need one little accessory like the Elgato Cam Link and now you have a monster webcam. The a7 III also has the rare ability to charge from the USB-C connection while in use. And after an hour of straight streaming, I'll only have lost like 5% battery. That is, for those of us that do more than just do narrative work, it is so great. Skin tones are another thing. Again, as a previous a6300 user, I always thought my skin looked gross and that I constantly had black eyes in my video. But the a7 III makes my skin look good. Bill Utah makes fun of me for saying this all the time. Not only is the 4K awesome, but even the 1080p looks really good. Okay, there are a magic crap ton of awesome things in here for a content creator, but I saved my absolute favorite for last. Well, it's two things that I generally use together to do great effect. Crop mode and digital clear zoom. Everything else about this camera is nice to have, and other cameras do the same things kind of the same way. But these two features are so awesome, and they kind of change the game, and they kind of change the camera game when you think about it. For example, I use the Sony 28mm f2 lens for everything with the a7 III, and almost every other camera on the market could do the same. What the a7 III can do different is they can make the 28 millimeter lens, a 35 millimeter lens, and almost a 50 millimeter f2 lens by using both the crop mode and the digital clear zoom. These features make one prime lens into basically three prime lenses, not to mention what you can do with a zoom lens. It just, it is so incredible. The versatility of the a7 III and all the functions, it's just, I know I'm gushing, I know I'm speaking hyperbole, and I know there are problems with the camera. I know I'm getting excited, I know I talk a lot of good stuff about it. I'm not sponsored by Sony. I paid for two of these now with my own money, uh, and it's just so good. I still like all the customizable buttons, the cropless 120 frames per second, 1080p, the new menu that you can use almost any of the ISO levels and have it look good, the new record button location, just so much stuff. Seriously, this camera is awesome and I cannot recommend it highly enough if it ever gets back in stock, that is. They've been sold out for months. And that is Follow Up Friday. What do you want to see in the very next Follow Up Friday? What gear have I checked out in the history of the channel that you would like to see a follow up to? Leave a comment below and we'll see if we can't make that happen next Friday. Thanks for watching.